And getting uh, ever clearer views of Starliner as it approaches. We see the uh, the lights on the vehicle. We're also seeing the outline no longer. And uh, seeing the uh, conical shape of Starliner as it approaches. Starliner is currently 609 meters away from the International Space Station, moving at a relative speed of about a third of a meter per second. Starliner maneuvering inside the approach ellipsoid, going through its uh, carefully choreographed, carefully planned maneuvers. Getting a little bit of sunlight now, coming up, uh, reflecting, giving that uh, unique color to the Starliner spacecraft as it moves in. It's looking good, Steve. That uh, that sunrise coming up as the station and uh, Starliner, as you mentioned, which is now less than three, uh, 600 meters away, uh, are over the western uh, border of Australia. Uh, they're coming up in an orbital sunrise as they cross over into the uh, Pacific Ocean. We're now about uh, 15 seconds from the first inbound fly around maneuver. Uh, we may see some of the thruster firings, but it might be, be a little bit overexposed. We'll see. But targeting looks good. Now about five seconds from the uh, uh, ignition time of that burn. Prop reports burning. Inbound fly around one maneuver taking place. Rendezvous reports good burn. That went just as it was supposed to. Produced great video too. <laughs> that was spectacular. Yeah, we got to see the uh, the RCS thrusters uh, that enable that burn. Uh, we got to see them firing uh, just in the right amount of sun and the right amount of exposure of the cameras themselves to give us those spectacular views. Uh, but so far, the rendezvous is reporting a good burn and a good trajectory so far. We'll continue to monitor as the first inbound fly around maneuver. There's another one coming up here uh, uh, in about 20 minutes. Those jets that uh, that were just firing there, those are the uh, reaction control system jets. Um, the Starliner being close enough to the International Space Station now, it's it's making very small, uh, very small maneuvers. Um, so that's that's why you saw the uh, kind of that uh, exhaust, those plumes coming from around the perimeter of the spacecraft. And we continue to see the spacecraft make its own adjustments. It is flying autonomously, no crew on board. But uh, the crew that is on board the International Space Station will be treated to quite the view as this uh, as this continues on. Reminder that Starliner is uh, on pace for uh, for a first docking opportunity at 6:10 p.m. Central Time, 7:10 p.m. Eastern. Rendezvous reports were in good shape as far as the sensor readings and uh, the information coming down from the spacecraft. That movement is, uh, of course, because uh, having kicked off that inbound fly around maneuver, uh, the spacecraft is, uh, while pointing its nose, pointing its sensors, at the uh, space station, the uh, spacecraft is maneuvering up. And, uh, no two hatches are closed. Copy, no two hatches closed.
as the uh, Starliner flies uh, just about 230 meters away from the station. Again, we just got past that uh, first inbound fly around maneuver, the voice you heard. Uh, from the uh, International Space Station, NASA astronaut Bob Hines confirming that the node to forward hatch is closed. They opened it uh, just to circulate some air in between the pressurized mating adapter and get some things situated. Uh, they'll open it up once again, uh, not probably not tonight, uh, as their monitoring um, uh, procedures take them through uh, really late into the night uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, they will not open up the hatches to the Starliner once it docks until tomorrow morning, uh, but they did get some of the activities uh, situated in the pressurized uh, main, mating adapter. Uh, so we'll see that hatch open again uh, tomorrow and uh, formally welcome Starliner to the station. Uh, of course, uh, many milestones to get uh, to, to until we get to that moment. Uh, we're about 16 minutes from the second inbound fly around maneuver. For Jessica. Rendezvous officer reports. Um, of course, we can see Starliner very good here from ISS, and uh, the rendezvous officer reports that Starliner sensors are uh, picking up ever greater detail in the space station itself as, as Starliner looks on and makes its uh, makes its um, flight up into the uh, eventual docking position. Okay, I copy uh, 4.0 CTB 5069 and uh, PMM and uh, say again the location. Yeah, it's PMM port one. Okay, copy PMM port one. And also when you do uh, the loading for item number 6.02, you can just uh, anticipate two of three 10.0 CTBs instead of three of three. Okay, copy two in step six decimal zero two. I have a couple other questions for you if you've got time. Go ahead. Okay, um, in step uh, four decimal zero four and break, five break, decimal Jessica. zero four and six decimal zero four. Let me get one uh, CFD call up, Jessica. Break for Chell. C2V2 data rate change in progress. Expect calm dropout in five minutes. Four or five minutes. Okay, and uh, station copies. All right, sorry about that, Jessica. Please continue. Great, yeah, and steps uh, four decimal zero four, five decimal zero four. And 6.04 uh, mentions uh, filling the CTBs with soft goods. Is there any um, other any particular restrictions on what those soft goods are? Are these um, for return, presumably? Checking. Station Houston on 24 Chell, you are go to perform step two in one decimal one zero two. The step two. 